Hey guys, how's it going? Today we will look at the Python string isIdentifier method. So the isIdentifier method returns true if the string is a valid identifier and it will return false otherwise. Now string is considered a valid identifier if it only contains alphanumeric characters such as letters from A to Z and numbers from 0 to 9, but also underscores. A valid identifier cannot start with the number or contain any spaces. Okay, so this is how the syntax looks like. The method take no, takes no parameters and it returns true or a boolean value, more specifically true, if the string is a valid identifier and false if it's not. Okay, so let's look at examples. Now in the first example, if you run this, we should see that the method will return false. Yes, and this is because even though uh, the identifier can contain numbers, it cannot start with the numbers. So let's change this uh, to a letter, the first character to a letter. And if you run this, we can see that uh, this is identifier, considered as an identifier now. Okay, let's look at a second example. This is, I would say, the most common identifier you would use. Uh, some letters, uh, some numbers, and then um, replace all the spaces with uh, underscores. And if you run this, we can see that that is indeed the case. Okay, in the third example, I wanted to show you some special characters. And even though these characters are uh, slightly different, they are still considered um, as valid um, characters and thus a uh, this whole string is considered as valid identifier and this can be um, any numbers or letters from basically any alphabet you know from chinese russian whatever you want to use now in this last example we have some special characters and if you run this you can see that this is not considered valid identifier because uh, all these characters in here and many more which i did not include are not considered a valid identifier. Yeah, so this is the is identifier method and that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching.